in the run-up to the election, there was a sustained amount of pressure that the BTI had to face uh, because of its troubles with the military and with the state. With their leader in jail, they've had to negotiate the space to run a campaign and to try to be given a fair and balanced sort of a run-up to the election, which they did not have. Despite that, the BTI, I think, performed remarkably well on election day. The election commission, until that evening, had performed reasonably, relatively speaking, well. Uh, but then the votes that were coming in, the results that were coming in, were suspended, and there was a black hole of information, and suddenly many of us woke up the next morning and saw a surprising turnaround in many seats. So the first thing to recognize, I think, is that there is a degree of unhappiness with the transparency of the process. Even despite that issue, the PTI is the single largest party in parliament. Whether they're independent or not is really a procedural and technicality issue. It, the reality is the PTI is the biggest party in the country with the most seats in parliament. So on principle, the PTI should have first dibs at forming a government. The fact that it's the second and third largest parties that are trying to establish a coalition government, I think from the get-go undermines the basic spirit of this contest of elections in Pakistan.